Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In today's video, we are going to be exploring uh, Moss Deep very temporarily, and then heading off to a location we've been to very briefly. We're going to visit Steven in Steven's house. Oh, oh, Steve, Steven's not here. Who could have predicted this? It's a letter. Dot, 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 dot. To Apple, dot, dot, dot. I've decided to do a little soul searching and train on the road. I don't plan to return home for some time. I have a favor to ask of you. I want you to take the Pokeball on my desk. Inside it is a Beldum, my favorite Pokemon. I'm counting on you. May our paths cross someday. Steven Stone. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Steven has bestowed upon us a level 5 Beldum. It contained the Pokemon Beldum. Take the Pokeball? Yes, I will. I have an empty slot in my uh, party so we can check the... What? I... I made it oh i guess i didn't make an empty slot well we are now the proud owner of a level 5 beldum that is the only way to get a beldum in ruby sapphire and emerald it is the pokemon that will eventually evolve into a metagross if you're in the market for a metagross i am not in the market for a metagross because i am almost done playing this video game and so i don't really need any new team members at all well, let's take a quick look at beldum's summary it's a steel psychic type clear body for its ability, Rash Nature, Meta Level 5 in Moss Deep. Starts off with those stats, and the only move it knows is Takedown. Cool if you want to raise up a Beldum, or, I don't know, Shiny Hunt a Beldum. It's the only way to get a Beldum. Cool! So, we are going to now chase after Steven Stone at the... Oh, where's the best place to fly to do this? Probably... Meteor Falls where we're going. We're going to Meteor Falls. Rustboro? Full Arbor, maybe? I think it'll probably be best to head um, out of Full Arbor to the west. I think that'll be the best way to get to Meteor Falls. But we'll see if, if this is a foolish maneuver uh, at some point. Um, but yeah, we've, we've been through this route before, so I'm just going to dash very quickly. I'm actually probably going to use a Repel. It'll be a bit of a bit of a waste to use a Repel, but I'm going to do it anyway. We've got oh, only nine more, eight more after this. I'll hop on the bike too. We'll really, we'll really zoom. Alrighty, and you know what? I'm beginning to think that I need my HM user, but I'm probably just gonna teach Waterfall over a move because I'm, I'm too lazy to go back. And we're almost at the end of the game, so we'll be fine. Meteor Falls! We've been to Meteor Falls before very, very briefly to stop the, I believe it was Team Aqua from doing something mischievous, but I don't remember. It's been a very long time. I'm going to go ahead and quickly teach Waterfall to Flatbird over Mist. Um, oh, man. Okay, never mind. I'll be right back with my HM user. Okay, we're back now with Nancy in tow. I went, actually, it's not Nancy, it's Big Deal. I switched out Flatbird for Big Deal. Big Deal is the Waylord we had to catch so we could go and... I gain access to the Reggie Trio, and so I figured, hey, let's let's put big deal to you, say. So we could have accessed new parts of Meteor Falls as soon as we got Waterfall. That was the requirement for getting up where we are right now. And so this is all new. It's not particularly useful to us at the moment because we were uh, we're not really in the market for this sort of like new. Oh man. Well, let me make sure I've got a good team set up. We're not, we're not really in the market for new items or things of that nature. We are very much so uh, at the end of the game. So it's not a big deal for us to, you know, level up or get items or anything of that sort. So, uh, you know, we're just going to go through here and experience this for, for the end goal, which will come up very shortly. I won't reveal what the end goal is, but we will find out soon enough. All right, you know, speaking of the end goal and things of that nature, I did want to bring up a, a topic. Now, there's something I've been thinking about, and uh, I'm just going to be completely honest with you, the viewers of this Pokemon series. Uh, I am I am very, very done with playing Pokemon Emerald. Uh, I, this game is fantastic. Pokemon games are, are truly gems. Uh, however, I have been playing this game since, like... Uh, for almost a year. Uh, not almost a year, that's an exaggeration. Over half a year, like eight months I think I've been playing this game. I don't know the exact date that I started it off the top of my head, but I know that I was playing it in December because I was I read the Flatbird comment when I was in Disneyland. And that happened in middle of December. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and say like start of December is when I started this this uh, series. So December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. We're into August. That's uh, that's nine months of playing this game, and you know it's a great game. But I am I'm looking for new things, and so the Battle Frontier. I'm not sure if I'm gonna cover the Battle Frontier, at least not at this moment. I always like to say I can go back and, uh, you know, play play content from old games if I ever wanted to. Um, but I, I just... Oh, old games I've let's played, I mean. I don't know if I'm going to do the Battle Frontier. We're definitely going to do, obviously, this video because we're we're watching. We're, we're watching it. We're recording it. We're doing it right now. And I have one other video where I want to catch some legendary Pokemon. Uh, but beyond that, I am not sure how much more Pokemon Emeralds I will create. I'm really looking forward to this next game I'm going to play. Uh, in fact, I actually plan on on skipping out on a part of the quote-unquote Let's Play cycle. Uh, basically, I play a Nintendo game, and then I play some other random short game, like a, a game that takes like two or three hours or something, usually like an indie game. Um, and then I do an update video, and then I start the next Let's Play. I'm thinking of just jumping right into the next Let's Play, like doing this Let's Play, an update video, and then the next one. So, I mean, that just shows you how excited I am for this next game. Um, anyway, I just wanted to get that out there. See, maybe gather some community opinion on 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 my my thoughts nothing set in stone of course but you know put putting my feelers out there as as uh, my mom likes to say she always says that when she like asks uh for like something on an email she's like i'm just putting my feelers out seeing what's 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 out there like okay mom you're gonna get your like 10 percent discount at the hardware store good work i'm just kidding she's She's fantastic. That was a joke. Only I can make jokes about, about my mom that way. Don't you dare. This Altaria is uh, lame. I I really, I mean, this is just like one aspect, right? I think I think it was the last video. I was like, I'm a retired trainer. I shouldn't have to battle. And like, I'm, I'm having to battle now. And it's like, oh man. Oh, I'm paralyzed. This couldn't get any worse. This could not get worse. Oh, shocker. It got worse. What? Pokemon doesn't treat me fairly? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? This doesn't happen in Super Mario. You're not playing Super Mario and then all of a sudden the game's like, oh, sorry. You, you got iron boots on, you can't jump anymore. Oh my god, you have another one. Okay, who has Ice Beam? Aphrodite, you have Ice Beam. I should have switched at the start. Truly should have switched at the start. But, uh, you know, we'll survive. Aphrodite will one-shot this Altaria with a Ice Beam. And then we can go have a nice... Uh, uh, uh. It's Greeper that has the Ice Beam. How can I be so obtuse? Ay, ay, ay. Y'all, I am rusty in my retirement. If this guy has a, a full restore or a max potion or a hyper potion or anything to restore HP, I'm going to drop kick the controller. Thank heavens. I would also never drop kick my controller. But I definitely would not want to... Uh, would not, would not want that to happen. Okay, great. Can I just heal Newt and get back to what I was doing? Just don't... I don't want your number, Nicholas. I will never, ever answer your Pokenab call. Speaking of Pokenab calls, uh, you can now get occasional Pokenab calls from the, uh, the gym leaders challenging you to rematches. They can also, like, double battle rematch you, I think. I think they can collab with Wally as well. And make like a cool music track. Just kidding about that music track part. But they can, um, they can uh, collaborate with Wally and, and battle you as, as a two two on two battle. So that's kind of neat. Okay, let's get to what we need to get to, which I believe is straight down this away. Um, yes? Question mark. Yes. Cool. I think I'm on track. I think we sail north from here. And this gets us to a cave. And this cave gets us to a, a long straight away. And this is TMO2 Dragon Claw. Not at all what I was after. But that's cool to know that that is here. Would that have been useful in the Elite Four? Um, maybe. If you can get that on a non-dragon type Pokemon, I guess. Uh, that's really the only place I could think that would be necessarily useful. Okay, I want to get there. No. Do I want to go here? No, I was just here, right? Where do I want to go? What's my end game? 
What's my end game? I guess my end game is simply not where I am. I want to get over there. So how would one go about doing doing that? Should I go down further? Let's see. I've been up there. So I need to go up here. I'm really working my way towards my destiny. Okay, that doesn't match up on the map at all. TM23 Iron Tail. Swag. I believe this cave is the one I'm looking for. If it is, it will not be here until you've beaten the champion. Um, does this seem promising? Perhaps. Almost as promising as me using another repel. Alright. Let's continue northward. And over. Aha! I am correct. Because here we have Stephen Stone. Oh, wow. Apple, I am amazed you knew where to find me. Do you, uh, maybe think of me as just a rock maniac? No, that can't be right. We battled alongside each other at the Zootopolis Space Center. You should have a very good idea about how good I am. Okay, Apple, if you're going to mount a serious challenge, expect the worst. Yeah, expect the worst. We're losing this. Far out, we're losing this. I'm not even trying to win. I just wanted to show that this is a thing. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a thing. Welcome to, uh... Welcome to This is a Thing, where I can show you that battling Steven Stone is a thing. His Pokemon range from, like, 70s to 80s. Wow! They're strong. They're fast. They're everything we could wish to be. So we're losing. Fair warning. We, we've actually already lost. Just by starting this battle, we have lost. Um, I just wanted to show this off. When I inevitably lose to Steven, I'll go ahead and read off his, his whole team. So that you guys can know what you would be up against if you were to battle him. I also just accidentally tapped my desk, and you definitely heard that. So, yeah. Okay, oh good, he's switching. And is sending out Metagross, his most powerful Pokemon, I believe? I believe it's his most powerful Pokemon? Not sure, I'm scrolling through Bulbapedia to find his team. Okay, I have his team from Pokemon Emerald. Skarmory, level 77. Claydol, level 75. Agron, level 76. Metagross, level 78. Armaldo, level 76. Cradilly, level 76. And they are different types. Always different types. So, you never know what you're going to get. That is his team. In all honesty, if you wanted to beat this team, you would either have to grind up a severe quantity of levels, like save this for literally being the last thing you do at the, at the end of the video game, or you use the legendaries you've caught, because I know we at least have a level 70 Rayquaza. We've got the Reggie Trio. We've got Latios. That's five right there. So there's a that's that's about your only chance of potentially beating Steven Stone. In all honesty, though, he's a strong trainer. He's a very strong trainer. And um, I guess now is a, is a good time to share this. In Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, he's the champion of the Hoenn region. Well deserved. Of course, Wallace is the gym leader of uh, Sutopolis. No, he's the gym leader. That's that's embarrassing. He's not the gym leader of Sutopolis. Sutopolis is he? Yeah, maybe he's. I don't know. I don't remember. He's uh, he's the he's the gym leader of the water type gym, the final gym. Instead of um, Juan, it's Wallace, and Steven is the champion. He uses this team, but it's, of course, exponentially toned down. So, you might have a chance of winning there. But not, not here. Alright, we have been officially clean-sweeped by Steven Stone. Not shocking, one singular bit. And we have lost. Okay. Not unexpected. We are back here in Full Arbor Town. Let me see if I was right, because I need to know for my own sake... What is this place? It is Sutopolis. I was right. I don't get things right often, but I get things right some of the time. Oh shoot, I also realized I have to show off- <laughs> I have to show off contests at some point, I promised that. I'm remembering all the things I have to do for this series before I can put it to, to bed. Even if it's not a, a proper bed, it's a, a bed where I at least cover all the things that I explicitly said I would cover. Anyway, if you want to win, I would, I mean, Rayquaza for level 70, Latios level 40, that's kind of bad. These are also level 40, you probably won't win, 
in all honesty, you're still pretty weak. You're gonna have to grind up a lot of levels. He's a tough trainer. Well deserving of, of his title of champion. And I mean, he just beat me. So I guess he's the champion of, of the Hoenn region again. So good for him. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be all for now. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about my channel. If you think they would enjoy it, it means a lot to me when you guys spread my videos around. And I'll catch you guys all back here next time for my next video. Until then, as always, take care.